Jeff Bezos revealed that his nude photos had been leaked. Jeff Bezos ki teamy photographs go public. Jeff Bezos, some racy photos that he had allegedly taken of himself. <laughs> Today I'm gonna tell you about the story of how the world's richest man. You mean my daddy? Alexa, shut up. Couldn't keep it in his pants and how his nudes were leaked. <laughs> Amazon CEO Jeff Bezos is invited to a small private dinner in LA by a prince. And it was the crown prince of Saudi Arabia, Mohammed bin Salman. They had dinner, they had drinks, they had a bit of chit chat. And by the end of the night, Bezos and the prince finally exchanged numbers. Within the following weeks, it was casual conversation, quick text here, maybe an emoji there. But two months later, Bezos gets a video from the prince. And it was a video extolling the Saudi economy. He watched the video, but Jeff didn't respond, leaving the conversation on red. That hurts. Six months goes by. Trying to get a response, the prince this time sent a meme. The meme was a bit misogynistic, but it was spicy for a prince. The woman in the photo resembled someone Bezos knew. It was Lauren Sanchez. Well, who was Lauren? Lauren was trying to get some of that Bezo peso. And for the past eight months, they were having an affair right underneath his wife Mackenzie's nose. The two met at a party for the movie called Manchester by the Sea, which Amazon distributed and Lauren's husband produced. The tryst was kept hidden from everyone until six months later. Jeff Bezos gets a call from the National Choir. They reached out to inform Bezos of its intention to print the conclusion of a four month undercover investigation into his affair with Lauren Sanchez. And within 48 hours, Bezos had to inform his innocent wife and his kids of the affair and took it to Twitter to publicly announce the divorce. We've had such a great life together as a married couple, and we also see wonderful futures ahead of us as parents, as friends, as partners in ventures and projects, and as individuals pursuing ventures and adventures. But the next day, the Inquirer revealed the real story. During the four-month investigation, they flew across five states and 40,000 miles, tailing them as they went into private jets, swanky limos, helicopter rides, romantic hikes, five-star hotel hideaways, intimate dinner dates. Bezos even flew Lauren out to the hotel he was staying at when he was in town for Parents' Day at his son's MIT campus. To top it all off, the Inquirer had gotten a hold of below-the-belt selfies and private texts between him and Lauren during the affair. It is now time for a reenactment of these texts. Alexa, read Jeff Bezos' text. I love you. Alive girl, I will show you with my body, and my lips and my eyes. Do you think I make too much noise in bed? Next time we can try a ball gag. I've been naughty at work today. Do you think I deserve to be punished? I will rub the back of your throat with my co- Alexa, stop. God damn Bezos, you sick child. Back to the story though. Following the expose from the National Enquirer, Jeff gathered a team of the top private investigators in the world with an unlimited budget to figure out who was the source of these leaks. Within a month of the investigation, two theories came out. Theory one, the Saudis. Based on a forensic investigation of Jeff's phone, it was uncovered that when Jeff opened up the WhatsApp video from the Saudi prince, that it was highly probable, not confirmed, that it was infected with malware. Some of the most sophisticated malware in the world, developed by an Israeli cyber arms group, NSO, and sold to the Saudis for $650,000. Within minutes of Jeff opening the video, it extracted all data from his phone, with the malware erasing itself, leaving no trace behind. How this discovery came about was that when Jeff opened up the video, the data rate went up 26,000% compared to normal on his phone. From there, the Saudis took this information found on his phone and sold the text and pictures to the National Enquirer to discredit Bezos for his ownership in the Washington Post that had run negative press in the Saudi government recently. Theory number two, Donald Trump. Trump has had beef with Bezos for years. Government, contracts, taxes. The two men don't like each other. And Donald Trump has ties to the National Enquirer. He's personal friends with its owner, David Pecker. The theory goes that Trump asked Mohammed bin Salman to hack Bezos and reveal his texts and photos to retaliate against negative press about Trump in the Washington Post. Both of these theories rely on one thing, the Washington Post. But these are just two theories and the investigation continued. With the best private investigators money can buy, they were putting the pressure on the National Enquirer to reveal the source. The Washington Post Jeff Bezos owns was running negative stories on the Enquirer. 
and what eventually boiled over into the National Enquirer sending an email to Jeff's private investigators to get the investigation to stop. The Enquirer wrote, However, in the interest of expediting the situation, and with the Washington Post poised to publish unsubstantiated rumors of the National Enquirer's initial report, I wanted to describe to you the photos obtained during our news gathering. In addition to the below the belt selfie, otherwise known as a uh, dick pic, the Enquirer obtained a further nine images. These include Miss Sanchez's response photo of her smoking a cigar in what appears to be a simulated oral sex scene. A shirtless Mr. Bezos holding his phone in his left hand while wearing his wedding ring. He's wearing either a tight black cargo pants or shorts, and his semi-erect manhood is uh, penetrating in the zipper of said garment. It would give no editor pleasure to send this email. I hope common sense can prevail, and quickly. The National Enquirer had just tried to blackmail the richest person on earth. Instead of Jeff backing down, he wrote a personal blog post and attached the blackmail letter from the Enquirer, stating, of course I don't want personal photos published, but I also won't participate in their well-known practice of blackmail, political favors, political attacks, and corruption. I prefer to stand up, roll this log over, and see what crawls out. And that, they did. So what did crawl out of the situation? The reality is much simpler than a grand political conspiracy. It happens to be that Lauren knew someone who had acquired this information. Someone who had stole these texts and lewd photos and passed them on. Someone like, uh, her own brother. Her own brother in a back-end deal to the National Enquirer sold the rights to publish the texts and photos for $200,000. But what about the Saudis? Through an investigation by the UN, the hack on Bezos was pinned onto the Saudis. But whether Saudi Arabia could have sent any useful information on Bezos to the Enquirer is still unknown. The Saudis have denied any hacking into Bezos' phone, and with good reason, it would be a global conspiracy. The United States has opened up an investigation into this, but since it's ongoing, not much is known. Ultimately, it's up to federal prosecutors to play a role in determining whether Bezos is a victim of blackmail, political smear, or just a quick cash grab. Jeff and Lauren are certainly star-crossed. And what a better way to prove that love is true than a leak of intimate texts and photos to the National Enquirer from your own brother and a federal investigation. Thank you guys for watching. Um, I have alimony for my wife to still pay, so if you guys can like and subscribe to help pay off my alimony.